Hey everybody, my name is Kreis, and uh, welcome back, my, uh, fuck, <laughs> I already screwed up the intro, I'm back from my little hiatus vacation type thing, and uh, instead of just going straight back into the regular content that we were doing before, I'm deciding, you know, let's fucking, um, let's do a little Minecraft thing, you know what I'm saying? Or fuck, not Minecraft. Let's do a little bit of something new. This is kind of just like a one-off playthrough, maybe. Depending on how it goes and what you guys like. Um, if you like this game, of course, leave it in the comments below. Be like, oh, post more content of this game. So we're playing Ecosystem, which is kind of um ecosystem simulation game. Like a life simulator type of thing. We get to see species evolve, I think. I don't... I don't really know. I'll, I'll read off the, uh, I'll read off the description of the game. Grow and modify an ecosystem with simulated evolution by natural selection, creating the life forms that inhabit it. All the creatures in the trailer evolved on their own in the game. None were hand edited. So, I'm assuming we get to fucking see evolution in action, which I, I think is a really cool concept. Uh, sorry, I'm fucking so thirsty. Um, but yeah, let's just jump straight into it. I don't really like right off the bat. I mean, this doesn't look amazing. I'm gonna be honest. Like, come on, guys. This is the UI. Fucking Jesus Christ. Uh, so I guess we get to pick an area that we want to go in. Uh, beach, valley, abyssal, trench, strange reef. Uh, we got lagoon or cliffs. Not really sure what to do. We'll we'll just go with the beach, I guess. And uh, yeah, this is a lot of stuff. So I'm just gonna say okay. Um, here we are. Ecosystem is a game about life. At its heart are evolving virtual organisms who grow from synthetic DNA and live in a uh, physically simulated ocean. The fittest pass on their genes to their offspring. So over time, the world you create will be filled with unique creatures adapted to it. Awesome, crazy. Um, Let's let's check out the graphic settings. See if we can uh, up this shit. We do have it on 144 hertz, uh, so it'll be hopefully smooth as fuck. I think everything is turned up to the max. Uh, what is water effect? Maybe maybe that's not something we want to turn up. I don't know. V-sync, turn that shit on. Fuck yeah, we want that V-sync. Uh, okay, so let's begin the tutorial because I don't know what the fuck we're doing at all. Uh, you can move the camera horizontally, and you can move it vertically with Q and E, okay. Wow, this, uh, the terrain looks very trippy. Also, really bad, like, graphics. They don't look the greatest, I don't know, maybe that's just me. Like, the texture is super low quality. Fucking increase the texture, guys, you know what I'm saying? Alright, whatever, it's not too big of a deal. You know, if the gameplay is stellar, then the gameplay is stellar, you know, I won't judge it. You can change the- yeah, we already figured that one out. Um, uh, okay, lastly, you can warp to a location by clicking on the mini-map. Wow, look at this fucking high-speed- High-speed internet go. Oh, that does not look good. Okay, we're just gonna- we're gonna go in the middle. What next? What do we do? How do you play? Uh, we've started you with a barren landscape, but soon it will become a thriving habitat. Sorry, I'm a little excited. This is my first video in a while. Uh, the first step is to seed the plants and sessile, sessile organisms that will form the base of your food chain. Open the food source menu with F2. All right. Wow, dude. So we get to pick one of these? Choose three. Okay. Um, so th this one, I don't... Ecosystem health, I'm assuming we want a lot of. So yeah, plus 20? Fuck yeah. Plus three, plus five times current? Hell yeah, dude. Uh, plus three, plus six times outcropping? No idea what the fuck that means, but yes. Uh, okay. Do we just plant it? Oh, fuck. Insufficient life points. What the hell does that mean? Yo, are there already fish? Are those fit? Oh, wait, no. It's like seeds. In order for a plant or sessile, sessile organism to grow in a location, the ecosystem health there needs to meet its minimum requirement. Some pioneer species have no requirement and can grow anywhere. Select one of these and click once on the environment to seed it. All right, six. So I'm assuming that's what these are. So it's kind of, you know, it's kind of growing, as you can see. We got ourselves a little uh, thriving habitat. What is this, four? Okay, so is this the economy health or the ecosystem health? Yes, uh, it improves the ecosystem health nearby by an amount depending on its neighboring environment, plants, and animals. In this way, plants and sea cell organisms shift their environment in predictable ways. 
amazing. So we're creating a fucking booming ecosystem. I love it already. Greater diversity of species in an area results in a greater ecosystem health. Plants may contribute much more if the right plants are around them, but they may contribute less or nothing near others. Further, each plant and sessile organism has a life of its own and competes with others for space and resources, potentially driving them to extinction. A community, even of plants, is a complicated and sometimes chaotic system. Try planting another species. Okay, so they're down here. Let's do this one, because, oh, this this one, this one's bad for the other ones. What about this? This one doesn't seem to affect them much, or is this the same? No, I don't think that's, is it the same? No, that's definitely not the same. Okay, let's plant some of these. Make the place look nice, you know what I'm talking about? So we can, like, paint, kind of, but we don't have enough life points. Let's draw, let's go over here. What the fuck is this? Java Fern. Wow, dude, look at that health go. 26. As you increase the health of your ecosystems, you gain life points that you can spend to spawn new animal species and to unlock more species of plants via the research button. Oh, we need 20 of them. Okay. It is time to evolve some animal life, much like plants. Animals need a minimum ecosystem health, uh, blah, 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 F3. Okay. So we have like a pretty decent ecosystem here, I think. What can we... Okay, so this is our first species. The forger button should already be selected. Click once to spawn in a batch of 30 creatures. Holy fuck. Fuck, that's a lot. All right. Um, you can raise or lower the placement position with the mouse wheel. Okay. Cre creating creatures costs life points. Alrighty. Okay. So now we can't spawn them here anymore. Where can we spawn these motherfuckers? Over here? No. We were able to spawn them literally one second ago, and now it's just like, nah. You know, fuck you. I swear we had an ecosystem health of fucking like 75 here. Some shit like that. Where can we spawn these? Okay. We're gonna have to plant some more plants. I guess by the looks of it. So let's do that. You know, let's just woo. Oh, insufficient life points. Come on, dude. That's sad. Oh, I don't think we had enough life. Oh no, it's the eco health. Why don't we have enough? Six out of fifteen, bro. Look how many fucking plants there are. This is enough. Like, are you shitting me? This isn't enough to sustain life. Uh, oh, we can speed up time. New creatures have completely random body shapes and nervous systems that cause them to flail around wildly. Creatures who manage to move a little get to have more children, and over time, evolution will make their descendants into talented swimmers. Okay, so th this is pretty in-depth from the sounds of it. I wish we could spawn in an animal because uh, that would be pretty cool, but we can't. It doesn't seem like, you know, our, our ecosystem is booming enough. Okay, uh, let's try planting some more of these bad boys. I think these were pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. We're out of life points, though. All right, do we have the ecosystem health? No, it's seven out of 15. How the fuck can we create one? Randomize? Randomize. No, okay. I, I understand, but like at the same time, I really don't. Okay, so let's see here. Diet forager. Could we like, just like turn that down? No. Is that what we're fucking spawning in? That is disgusting. Oh my God. How do we spawn those guys in? Or is that what these are? Is that- is this what we're gonna spawn in? Cause that looks fucking crazy. I wish we could spawn them in though. I don't know, am I doing something wrong? Like, I don't fucking understand, man. We had a pretty booming ecosystem over here for a little bit, but... L okay, let's try and create a new one over here. Maybe, like, we're just- we're not doing it, you know what I'm saying? Okay, that is 20. Let's spawn some of these bad boys in. A new species is growing in this area. Try a different location if you would like to spawn another. Okay, so, we have these, whatever the fuck these are, new species emerged, Gurnara. There's 27 of them. So that means three of them have already died, I think. That's what he's seeing? Man, he is fucking stupid. What's he fucking doing? <laughs> what the fuck is he doing? He's just, oh, he's dead! No! New creatures of, okay. Wow. They are dying quick. Oh, actually, you know what? You know what? A couple of them have been born, so I'm okay with it. First few generations feed on nutrients in the water, but eventually they'll come larger and switch to eating food. Okay, so cool. They're eating the nutrients in the water, man. All right, let's, let's, uh, can we spawn some more in? Yeah, we can. Oh, new species. Okay. So, I guess, wait, have they evolved already? Oh, shit. No, he's, he's definitely dead. There's no, there's no fucking evolving for that one. Uh, uh, uh. Healthy ecosystem isn't healthy enough. Man, these plants really do not seem very good. It's, it really just seems like these, uh, what are these? 
the mill foil plants are, are kind of the way to go for a brand new um, for a brand new species like these. Spawn some more and oh we don't have enough life points. Fucking life points, man. We gotta wait like fucking forever for these life points. Let's try interacting with an existing creature. Okay, you know what? Fine, sure, we'll try interacting with an existing creature. We have drag, boost, grant energy and offspring, uh, cull, you can kill them. You can cull a creature you don't like by pressing the cull button. Why would I want to do that? Uh, speciate, you can create a new species from an individual or cull species entirely. All right, let's boost him, because I, I want these guys to thrive, you know? What did I do to him? Ah, oh, shit. I boosted the fuck out of this guy. So he better be good. He's, uh, 1.6 years old, or 1.6 years of something. Wait, have they grown... Wait, are they different? De this one's name is Debra, so they have names. Okay, Debra, I mean, you look pretty dumb. I think you're gonna die any second now, actually, which is kind of sad because I was boosting the fuck out of you, but... You can move a creature somewhere else by pressing the drag button, then clicking on a creature and then dragging it to a new location. Hold shift to drag a creature vertically. Oops, I boosted him again. Uh... I, I just keep on accidentally boosting him. I don't know how that's happening, but... I'm pressing one. Oh, he died! Fucking Deborah, dude. God. Okay, there we go. Yeah! <laughs> um, okay. So, click on a creature and then dragging it to the- Okay, I don't know what the point of that is. Maybe to move it closer to food? Eat, you motherfucker! Eat! Food! Is good for you. It is possible to mold the landscape. Are you shitting me right now, dude? I can mold the landscape? Okay, let's, uh, let's add some cliffs. Boom! Oh, shit. That, that actually fucking did a lot. I didn't expect it to do that. <laughs> I thought it would just create, like, a slight, like, you know, incline. What is F5? Oh, shit. There's species fucking, like, leaderboards over here. Kimberly is number one on top of the game. Dude, look at Kimberly go. About to die. This is not even a year old yet, but they're number one, I guess. I don't know what makes them number one. Uh, I can't really tell. Oh, they're already dead. Kimberly's dead? Or is she- No, Kimberly's alive. Okay. Interesting. Oh, maybe it's the generation. Generation five? Danya is now number one. Seems to be doing pretty good at grazing some of the plants, I think. Or maybe just the air. I can't really tell. Okay, Terrarian, if I should probably have been listening to this. Some plants need more sunlight, some need dark for predators to lurk or something. Cool. Cool. Got it. Uh, let's- let's research a new plant because I think we need- okay, yeah, mushrooms. Let's do mushrooms. So mushrooms like the dark, which means let's go over here and create like a little, uh, hills. That might work. Oh shit, man. Oh shit. Uh, that's actually not really doing what I wanted it to do. Uh, God. I want it to kind of form like a- something like this. Yeah, yeah. I feel like God right now, dude. Is this how God did it? This is why everything looks so fucked up, just because he made so many mistakes. This isn't a religious channel, by the way. I'm an atheist, but... Okay, cool. So now let's plant some mushrooms down here. Yeah! Oh, oh, okay, yeah, they are planting. For some reason, just red. So it's... Be because there's a nearby plant that's reducing its effects and also there's a lot of sunlight so which doesn't really make sense because you can see the shadow i mean there's not that much sunlight here it's actually not boosting the eco health at all i don't know why soil type sunlight adaptability okay so it's it's not very adaptable these fucking mushrooms god damn it stupid ass little bitch uh, functionally similar to fruit. I don't- it doesn't say- oh wait, prefers, here we go. Dark rock, rock, grass, yellow grass, muddy sand, sand, dark- okay, so, seems to like almost all types. Let's do some dark rock shit. I think we should have been doing that since the beginning, to be honest. Just fuck up the whole, like, just ecosystem entirely, just like, create some fucking crazy shit, you know, wow. <laughs> some Minecraft terrain generation up in here. Okay, now if mushrooms don't thrive here, I don't know when they will. I don't think they're thriving. Fuck off, man. These mushrooms are shit. Okay, but we can put some stuff here. We just... A new species! Barboar! Yes! Dude, they look... I... I don't... They look pretty dumb still. Like, what the fuck is that? It already died. They don't even move. Actually, this one... I think this one moves a little bit better than the others. Let's check out how our guarna species are doing. Man, these ones don't move at all. 
Your eyes are so weird. They're like a frog, but like flat and like really weird looking. Let's see, um... Oh, they're migrating right now. I don't know where they're migrating to, but... Pretty interesting, if you ask me. Alright, let's see the top of the top. It's- it's Guarna still. I mean, I think Barbarar will take a little while to, um, you know, get through it. A lot of birth happening with the Guarnas, not so much with the Barbars. I don't think there's any Barbar action whatsoever, unless I'm just selecting Guarnar. Oh shit. Pat, dude. Look at this. Holy shit, this is crazy. Phylogenetic tree. So we can see like all the families and everything. Their forager diet. Can we actually change that to like a predator diet? Hold on, diet. Predator. Oh, oh. We can make a predator. All right, where should we make a predator? Over here. Can we? Is this pred predator territory? It doesn't seem like it. Where was the mountains that I was creating? I don't even fucking understand. Over here, over here, okay. I don't think we can create... Yeah, it's not healthy enough to spawn this type of creature. That's kind of sad. All right. We'll put some, uh, some of these down, you know? Get some plants started up. Uh, cause why wouldn't we, you know? We don't have any more points though, so that kind of sucks. Uh, oh, we, we can actually put down a species, but we need to wait for life points. So we can already have a new one. Wow. Never mind. It seems like, uh, they don't like it already, this area. I don't know why. You know, it's, it's kind of... It sucks, but... Oh shit, large mutations for the Guarnas. We have to check this out. What's going on, Guarna? They look... Oh, they're actually swimming better, I think. They look more like squids now. Is that how they swim? That looks not very efficient. So the Guarnas are really popping off, dude. Another mutation for the Guarnas. Barbar... They're doing shit, man. Alright, Abby right here is our top specimen. Is it eating a plant? What is it doing? Mating! Oh, it's mate- This is apparently it mating. I don't know if they perform sexual reproduction, but it's- It's kind of just like staring at the ground, so... Oh, it's exploring now. Okay, so it's probably done. What is this? What the fuck is going on here? Is this its brain? Am I watching its brain? Wow. I don't know what any of this means, but looks pretty cool to me. Oh shit, we can fucking change the entire thing. Okay, we're not gonna do that. I wanna see the, the Guarna species really thrive, you know? Oh, revive creature. Did Abby die already? Shit. R.I.P. Abby, you know? One of them died of a oh, Barbar died of a genetic disease. Oh shit, hold up. Barbar kinda popping off right now. Rank number one, Chandra in the Barbar species. Is this- Oh, he's gonna die though. He's grazing, he's grazing. He might not die. Let's see. Will he survive? Will he survive? What is he- He's gonna eat this plant. He's eating. Don't die. Come on, Chandra. You got this, man. Oh! Shit. Chandra is, you know, he's not giving up. Or she, I don't know. I don't- It doesn't say the gender, I think. Maybe it does. I can't see it, at least. But Chandra really knows what the fuck is going on. Not number one anymore, but he or she is living quite the life- Oh fuck, that's Leslie. Quite the life at a, a ripe age of two years old. What's our oldest species? It is Kandra at three years old, part of the Gorna species. Uh, generation one, wow. So this is a long survivor, I think. Do they all just get the same limbs? Like, do they just all mutate or- what is- is this generation 1, 2? No. They're just moving very slow. I don't know why. Actually, do they have, like, feet, kind of? Kind of seems like it would be a foot. Oh, shit, I just closed the game. Okay, there we go. Fuck the creature editor. Okay, so, let's see if we can put down a new species somewhere. Uh, oh, right here. Okay. So we have Guarnas and Barboirs. Now we have Largal, L or Largel. I think that's- yes. Do we have those? Oh my fucking god. Are these predators? No, these are foragers as well. Damn, they look like they could eat a lot of food, man. Like, that is one chunky fucking largal right there. If I must say so myself, I mean, he's- he barely moves at all. Something tells me this species is not gonna go too well. You know what? Let's boost him. Just for the sake of, uh, you know, boosting them, because I want them to live, man. These guys are fucking hilarious looking. One of the limbs on Guarnara's, 
or wait, Gernara? Is that what they were called the whole time? Because I think I've been saying it wrong. Yo, so now they're way more flat. Or at least this one is. Although that's generation two. Oh, Windy, like, just straight up lost its limb. Okay, I understand. So some of them have different limbs. Oh, shit, that one is like... This is generation seven right here. Oh, oh it died. <laughs> Dude, it was swimming so good. We have another one here, but it, it, it's not swimming as well. It's generation six, so, I mean, it kind of makes sense. We have a fucking obscene amount of Largals. I don't even really understand how they're, like, thriving. They're number one. 47, or sorry, 42 of them in the ecosystem. Is there a soft cap on these? I don't want a soft cap on our fucking species, man. Put it up to 50 at least. I want these bitches to thrive. All right, let's add a new plant. What should we do? Orange starfish? Hell yeah, dude. Orange starfish, that sounds amazing. Let's put some around town. One there, actually a bunch of them. We're gonna just do everywhere. So there should be a lot of food out here. Although it does, I realize now that did nothing for us and we just wasted a bunch of life points. Nice. Epic. I am loving this. Okay, we have a new species though. What are they gonna be called this time? Core barbs. Oh, these ones look cool. These actually look kind of nice. Unlike the other ones. Actually, wait, no, these look like largols. <laughs> they look a little bit nicer than a largol, but I mean, you can tell they're descendants. So this is a largol. This is a core barb. Core barbs are like smaller largals. I don't, did we, I think we forgot to randomize it. I'm going to be honest. Um, I think we need a predator because, you know, there's a lot of foragers out here. Not a single predator. Uh, okay, so let's just turn the soft cap to 200. And we are going to do a predator, predator, wherever we can. This is an eco health of 29 so almost enough to get us a predator I, th I think this is probably our best oh wait right here right here we're gonna have a predator and this is gonna change the game guys also it's a bit laggy now um which kind of sucks okay wait is it just largo fucking 3.0 what are 10 hads please tell me they're not the same fuck man we need to stop <laughs> these are still fucking forgers why are they foragers? Oh, we for we forgot to apply. That's that's why. Okay. So we're going to apply that. We now have uh Oh shit, wait. I think that's actually for Oh, okay. There we go. So now these charas are predators and it's getting very laggy. We're going to have to turn down the uh the graphics just a bit here cuz we're not going to be able to continue playing like this. It does look a lot worse now, but Shut up, okay? This game's early access. We're having fun, guys, aren't we? I am. This is interesting. Um, I do want to stop making these fucking, like, really fat, kind of useless creatures because they're terrible. Let's design our own species. Uh, how do we design our own? Fine, whatever. We'll randomize it. Okay, that looks like it could be a predator and a half. We are absolutely going to be fucking creating these and putting them into our environment. The issue now becomes, uh, we don't have much, you know, many places that are, are left for, uh, sustainable life. I'm assuming we could probably, like, kind of make this place better, but I don't know. So that does nothing. That'll do nothing. This will do nothing as well. Oh, this will- this will fucking increase it. By seven. Oh, we're killing plants, though. Okay, okay. There we go, boom. 30 health. And now we should have our first proper predator. I mean, like, you know, this looks more like a predator than the other fucker. The other thing that was not a predator. Oh, apex. Apex predator? Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit, 10 ads are kind of like getting out of control. We should probably check that out in a second. But not before we, um, do this. Oh, they need 45 now? Are you fucking kidding me? Dude, what? Okay, let's put some mushrooms here. Mushrooms here. Now we can spawn in our fucking apex predators. Boom. What are they gonna be called? I'm, I'm interested to see our latest and great. This is like the fucking barracuda of our world. They are called the 
Gorsell. Oh shit, these are mature creatures, I think, maybe? There's only four of them. And they are also not apex. Now they're apex predators. Let's check out what this guy does because I'm interested to see the life of an apex predator. There's a smiley face over there. I don't know what that means, but... So he's just like living life to the fucking maximum. Cruising around. Alright, that man is a fucking powerful Gorsell right there. We're gonna come back to the Gorsells. Let's ch take a look at the Ten Hads, which are also predators, and they seem to be just absolutely everywhere. I don't know why. This one is a fucking genetic disease. Or that one, I'm not really sure. It's hard to say. They also seem to be disappearing left and right. So as much as we see them uh, kind of appearing, they're actually dying really quickly. Which doesn't surprise me because, you know, they're kind of fucking stupid looking. So yeah, I don't, I don't know. Let's put down some plants here. Cause it, you know, it, it's not really uh, very amazing in this area. I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh yeah, I forgot uh, there's like plankton and shit. So. Our number one species, uh, how do I fucking... Our oldest species is still Guarna, or Gurnara, uh, Kandra, Generation fucking one. Uh, wait, where, where are they? Kandra is very old. Where the fuck are, Where's Kandra? This one here. Kandra has been alive for almost six years now. You know, and they are one of the oldest specimen we have left. Actually, the oldest specimen. Crazy stuff. I mean, something's going right with the Gurnara species, even though they aren't as, you know, invasive as maybe the Ten Hads. You know, they're they're living a decent life. They're living a decent life. Oh shit, is this a Ten Had over here? It is. So these are also predators. It's humongous <gasps> in comparison to the Guar Gu Gurnaras. And I think they might be killing them. I think the Ten Hads are killing the Guarna. <laughs> But I can't really tell, because they're really stupid. Oh, that one just died. And this one... Uh, is this one okay? I think this one's fine. It doesn't say anything, so... Oh, no, never mind. That one just died as I was fucking talking about it. The Ten Hads do seem to be, you know, dropping severely. Let's check out the Gore Cells. How are they doing? Eh, uh, I don't know what the fuck they're doing. They look really fucked up. Like, not okay. I don't... I don't, I don't know, man. That's that's pretty weird. Can we, like, pass time quicker? Oh, shit. Oh, no, that's 0.5. Why would we want to see it that slow, bro? Core Barb has mutated. I don't know what into. I think they move slightly faster. I can't really tell. Uh, let's do a speciate. Create a new species, all descending from Gaylord. Um, okay, so... Let's see our fastest one. Tia is our fastest specimen. Surprisingly, it's a ten had. I mean, they do seem to be going pretty quick, actually. I'm going to speciate this one once, uh, once they're ready, because Tia is, you know, as I was saying, the fastest, fastest fish of the West. Oh, no, not anymore, actually. It's oh no, it, it well, it's it's a competition between Deborah and Tia. But it's safe to say the Ten Hads are quite fast. Makes sense because they're predators. At the same time, doesn't really make sense because they're really stupid and like big. So, I don't know. I don't know, man, you know? Tia is also no longer even near the top, probably due to age, if I had to guess. Uh, you have enough points to research new plants and animals. Let's research a new plant because I feel like we could probably do something with that. Uh, ecosystem health 20? Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good to me. Let's put some fucking plants here because I feel like I feel like that could be good. This is gonna be a booming ecosystem in about a fucking minute from now. Oh no, that's where we're fucking doing stuff. Okay, so we have a new species, Ayuchar. Uh, where are they? I don't... Is this... No, that's, that's, those are mushrooms. Oh, they're actually really small. Okay, I'm just stupid. They don't, they seem super, like, slow as well. I don't know what's with us getting all these, like, really kind of fat and, like, oh my god, what is going on here? This one's, like, fucking, Benny's hunting right now. Oh, oh, shit. I think, did he just kill him? Or did he just die in front of him? Because that would be sad either way. That one has a genetic disease. 
and is now dead. Oh, what the fuck? Did you see that? There's like a fucking stick coming out of him. Huh. So the Tenhads are still the dominant species of our little world here. Uh, I think I want to make... I want to see the fastest Tenhad. Okay, so Chow. Chow is a fucking... Holy shit, look how fast he's going. And let's just make sure he's the actual fastest. Okay, now it's fucking Vicky going at a fucking light speed five meters per second. I don't I don't know if that's what it is, but we're going to create a new species and replace the ten ads completely with Vicky's uh, genetics. Oh shit, that just like wiped out the ten ads. So so fucking um Vicky is really like starting it all up again uh so yeah like wiped out all of the ten hads and now we have a bunch of vicky descendants which i'm assuming are going to be super fast because vicky you know as i said was one of the fastest and they do seem ridiculously fast or at least a lot faster than they were there's definitely not as many ten hads which probably is a good thing let's be honest here uh, i'm gonna go create an environment over here Kind of. Put some, uh, I keep on calling these sunflowers, but they're starfish. There is a world border right here. Oh, 150 eco health? Bro. Huh? This is fucking, we're gonna be able to support so many plants and animals and fucking, Jesus Christ, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. What we're really, what we're doing here is incredible. This is gonna be our apex predator right here. I don't care what anyone says, that is our apex predator. Because we need something to take down the ten hads, man, I mean... And and that's where the molacro... Mo molacores come into play. They are apex predators. I don't know how they're gonna do it, but... They look like they could do it, probably. Maybe like with poison. They're super fucking... Like, what the fuck is this? They're like a, a potato chip. And they also just like sink, they don't really move, they just fucking go down. Holy shit, we have a lot of points. Oh, Gorsell has matured. What is that? What does that mean? Gorsell? Are you guys fucking actually... Oh, shit. They're like up at the top of the water for some reason. What are you doing, man? He's exploring. <laughs> I like how these guys do fuck all. I wanted these guys to be like the fucking barracudas, but like they're, they're not doing shit, man. They're just like exploring. Wow. All right. So the fastest is the 10 had still actually slower than Vicky ever was. Maybe it was a bad idea to replace the 10 hats because there are only nine of them now. To be also fair, they're the most fast, but I guess they always were. So I don't know. It's hard to say really. I think we need more plants to support the, uh, the life here. Holy shit, the gore cells are fucking this, like, terrifying looking. We have, uh, oh no, he was hunting that guy, but now not anymore. These guys are growing. Oh, maybe that's what's going on. That's why they're not, like, moving early. Okay, we need to plant more stuff. Let's get a new plant up in this bitch. Um, pioneer plant. Yep, sounds good. Plant them just randomly everywhere because... You know, I don't really fucking care. Because I think really what's holding back our e ecosystem right now is the lack of food, maybe? I'm not really sure. That's what I would expect it to be, but at the same time, can't really tell because... I think we got food everywhere. There's nothing out here at all. Oh shit, we got a fucking... What are these again? Gorsell? Yeah. Gorsell Generation 4. Very interesting. Actually, what is our highest generation now? I'm assuming it's the, uh, the Gurnaras. So we have Nikki, the oldest Gorsell, at age five. Actually, I think, um, that one really old Gurnara is dead now. I don't remember what its name was, but it, it seemed pretty good. How do you fucking sort by, like, rank? What's the biggest one? Kristen? A, a, a Uchar? No, that, that, that is fucking huge, but apparently these are the biggest, but I don't know which one is the biggest. Like, what? Where's the biggest one? I don't... Int? Neuron count. Oh, those are... Oh, the smartest ones. Okay, so the smartest one is an Ayuchar named Jack. What's he doing? Jack, we're gonna follow you around, because apparently you're smart. He's just kind of, like, exploring... I guess. I don't know. That's a very weird, like, tail thing that's allowing him to swim. I think these are predators, but I don't think they're the apex predators. The apex are the thin ones. 
What can we do to boost the ecosystem? Because I feel like it's lacking. Oh, Predator, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so I don't think we actually unlocked Predators this whole time. Which is kind of hilarious because... Oh, ho, 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 ho. yeah. That is gonna fucking destroy. Okay, Parsar is our new Predator. You know, we've had Predators before, but this is our first proper Predator. They're really small. We have Jetty, our first one ever. I don't know what it's doing. It's growing. Okay, so we'll come back to these in a little bit. Ten Hads are absolutely struggling out here. Not doing too good. Largals are fucking also struggling. But it does seem like they're mating, so maybe maybe they'll they'll make their way back. Um, we're gonna go see the biggest one, because I want to see the biggest one. I think we were looking at intelligence earlier. Okay, so it is a gore cell. This is the largest one, and it is pretty fucking huge. Fucking humongous specimen right here. Let's boost this boy. We're boosting the- we just boosted the fuck out of that guy. Oh, he's- he's hunting this guy. Fucking... Eunice? You're about to get destroyed right now. Although he is super slow, so I don't- I don't actually know what's gonna happen here. Jesus Christ, this is like watching a snail. Like, cause you know this guy could fuck this one up, but he's moving really, really slow. Also, there is an extreme amount of gore cells in this area. Like, holy shit, there's a lot of them. I think we need more, um, herbivores. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, guys. It seems like they're severely lacking. Oh, that one's nice. I like that one. And we got, oh god, that's like, that's the one that we have before. I don't want to, oh shit, that one looks crazy. That one looks like it should be a predator, but I don't think it is. Okay, let's try and boost the eco health in this area. And uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna let the game sit for a little bit and come back. I'm gonna go eat some food. I will be back. We're gonna see what happens. <laughs> okay, I'm back. And there's literally fucking nothing left. What happened? Yo, literally everything is dead. That's actually the saddest thing ever. I was gone for like, maybe an hour. <laughs> Alright guys, well that was my playthrough of Ecosystem. Hopefully you enjoyed. Damn, that went- that took a fucking turn. There's almost nothing on the map left either. I don't know if these are plants, but they look like- I remember when it was all green. I don't know if that was like the- the herbivores or- or if it was the plants, but... Plants look dead as fuck as well. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Have a good one.